5,773 provided 7th Cavalry throughout the Indian War period in 1873, Colt presented the well-known design 1873, likewise called the Single Action Army, the Colt. 45 inches, not to be puzzled with Colt-made designs of the M1911 semi-automatic, or just, the Peacemaker, one of the most popular handguns ever made. It is still in production, along with numerous clones and lookalikes, and its general look has remained the same since 1873. Although initially produced the United States Army, the Model 1873 was extensively dispersed and popular with civilians, ranchers, lawmen, and hooligans alike. Its style has influenced numerous other revolvers. In the U.S., the conventional single-action revolver still ruled supreme till the late 19th century. In Europe, however, arms makers were fast to adopt the double-action trigger. While the United States was producing weapons like the Model 1873, the Europeans were constructing double-action designs like the French Moss Model 1873 and the somewhat later British Enfield MK1 and II revolvers, Britain count on cartridge conversions of the earlier Beaumont Adams double-action PR. Smith & Wesson M&P revolver in 1889, Colt presented the Model 1889, the first truly contemporary double-action revolver, which varied from earlier double-action revolvers by having a swing-out cylinder, rather than a top brake or side-loading cylinder. Swing-out cylinders quickly caught on, since they integrated the finest functions of earlier styles. Side loaders, like the earlier Colt design 1871 and 1873, provided a stiff frame, but needed the user to eject and load one chamber at a time, as they turned the cylinder to line each chamber up with the side-mounted loading gate. Smith & Wesson followed seven years later on with the hand injector, design 1896 in. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.